Welcome to this Biofilm Cube tutorial. I'm Hannah and today we will go through the different segmentation steps. In a previous tutorial we have already talked about image preparation and now we will go to the segmentation. Segmentation means that you separate the cells from the background in order to do further processing. You can see here that there are several steps to the segmentation. Not all of them are necessary. And this is why today we will go through them. I will talk about what each of the steps does and also which one of them are necessary and which ones are optional. Starting with the cropping. This is something you would do if you have a large field of view and rather small biofilm to speed up the segmentation and reduce file size. But also if you have several biofilms in your field of view and you want to focus on only one. There will be an additional tutorial explaining in detail how the cropping works. In the pre-processing step, you can invert your stack along Z. This is necessary if your stack moves from top to bottom instead of bottom to top. You can also correct a strongly tilted biofilm, as well as scale your image up or down. You would want to upscale the image if your cells are rather small in order to improve segmentation and downscale the image if it's really large and you'd want to avoid large file sizes and speed up the processing. The next step is denoising of the images. Here a number of filters is applied. We have an additional tutorial talking about the denoising in particular, which you can watch in order to learn which filters you will have to apply to improve your image. The thresholding is a necessary part of the segmentation. Here you pick the threshold, which means that all image parts with intensities above the threshold will be counted as cells and everything below the threshold will be assigned as background. Finally, once you have thresholded, you can dissect your biofilm, which means that you cut it into cubes. In this case, you can choose the cube side length. You can also pick to not dissect your biofilm. Finally, once the segmentation is complete, you can do a number of post-processing steps, which would be a 3D median of the binary image, which means that cells which only appear in one slice will be removed. You can remove cells which are smaller than a certain threshold size in order, for example, to get rid of very small artifacts due to noise. And you can choose to finish processing after your biofilm has grown to a certain size in order to save time. You can also remove the lowest slices of your biofilm or merge channels. Merging channels will be explained in an additional video. So now you have gotten an overview of what you can do during the segmentation. And if you want to learn more about specific steps or want to look at examples for the segmentation, you can watch further tutorials.